still on the revolution. Actually, I spoke today at the sauna of the Radisson, which used to be Bucharesti, Bucharest Hotel, about Andrei Finzi and the fact that he led uh, that part of the revolt revolution which took place in the Roman Square. Modest man, very clever. That was the interlocutor who was saying about this. And a pity that we don't honor people like him more. I mean, it's we, we know so much. We had on the media and about uh, others who helped with that change. But nothing about him. I, I never heard a, a thing. And it's a pity because he was one who led, as I said, a few hundred people in battle for what is worth, whatever it was. <laughs> anyway. Um, so... The evening of the 22nd of December found me, I think it was Ratsoyu, as I said, I, I, I'm I, amazed at, at how much I lost from there, but not lost lately because I would say, okay, I forget, but I don't forget other things from that time, from before. From, so it's not the case of an old man who I also know uh, doesn't know his glasses are on his chest or what he did uh, a few minutes ago. He opened the refrigerator, left the door, whatever. And then he remembers uh, how he met Nancy when he was 16. No, it's... The, the images, the pictures are clear before, after... Uh, but when the pressure was the maximum point, I just, as I said, I, my my uh, conviction is that uh, the mind just blocked and suppressed as they were uh, events, things. They were just blocked off. And that's I. That's the the best explanation I can find, uh, because. Morsels are there, but also other pieces of the jig, of the puzzle, the jigsaw puzzle, are absent. So, in the Revolution Square, as it's called today, the former Central Committee of the Party building, in front of that, I was with this guy, a, a girl, I, I don't know her name. My best guess is she was an assistant professor of geology were there. We saw others, that's also sure. We knew, but uh, they're just, as I said, gone. And uh, suddenly, I would say, they started firing, shooting. Um, so we ran for cover. There were tanks in the square because of uh, revolution and because already rumors were spread, news, mm, <laughs> comments here, because th th it was just misinformation. They were saying, come on the street to defend the television, come on, uh, because the enemy is attacking, Securitate, people loyal to Ceausescu, foreign trained terrorists from Iran, from Libya, from whatever. There were all kinds of conspiracy theories and versions of what's going on. But what was sure, there is an enemy still loyal to Ceausescu elements, all the Securitate, whatever, who was shooting. And also calls for patriots, I'm sorry, volunteers to Many people were given guns. They killed in friendly fire others for no reason. Um, it was a mess. The responsibility lies with the new leaders, with Iliescu and some of his military commanders, those who took charge. But um, only time will tell some things. Some are gone forever because there, no, there are no documents. And it's clear that it was also a mess, a chaos, as I said seen by me at first hand because as i said they were firing we run for cover but after the exchange uh, uh, became uh, somehow clear uh, i mean what was going on 
we stood up because we realized they were firing not on us but just somehow they were firing at the uh, former royal palace which was destroyed and then rebuilt uh, after 1990 and um, <clears throat> it, we could see there's no uh, there's no danger for us and it was uh, a, a stupid fire if you will also what seemed very strange and confirmed this theory that the ones in control were doing a stupid thing was that the building of the former central committee of the party which had inside some of those new leaders had just a few bullet holes people who would come visiting after this 1990 and i took them also many many times on on tours of bucharest because i would do that hundreds of times after 1990 i did it before but then also after 1990 for my own business so to say but we're not there yet people visiting could see that this is the building of the former central committee of the party on the 22nd of december 1989 the one of the headquarters of the new power of the new leaders new regime was not affected only a few bullet holes while all the others around were uh, some torn to pieces uh, a building which supposedly had the wing of the securitate direcția cinci the local KGB was uh, destroyed as well as the aforementioned road, former royal palace and the buildings around, apartment buildings and whatever. The former, and even now, it is the uh, University Library, Biserica, oh, sorry, Liberia Universitaro. Um, and this uh, the, the building of the new leaders was not affected so it was like we control we shoot we've done all the shooting not the others because nobody shot at this place so it it was a, a futile destruction for no good reason and they kept shouting wolf wolf like in that story but there was no wolf not the first time not the second third <laughs> no wolf <laughs> came there in the end. Anyway, let's finish this and continue tomorrow.